Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. I'm here to show you how I made this Father's Day card. Um, I'm not making many Father's Days. I have got a sale on um, in June sometime at the Community Day. So, and I did quite well last year there with my Father's Day cards. So I am going to make a few, well, about ten. And this is one of them. To make this card I used Geared Up Garage. Uh, I'll be using the Happy Father's Day and the toolbox. The die for the um, cogs I've already cut out in Smoky Slate. And we're going to add some bronze to it. Um, the background I used Crackle Paint stamp set and I went over it with the splodges just to muck it up a bit on the inside all I did was put all geared up to celebrate so this I did in black today I'm going to use blueberry bushel so you need a card of Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, wrist two there, and some scrap of white for the toolbox and the sign sentiment. So, a scrap of paper because we're going to do our cogs first. And I've got my cogs and I've got this bronze yielding wax, gilding wax, sorry, metallic gilding wax. And it's by Cosmic Shimmer. No, it's not. It's by Creative, Creative Expression. So I just use my finger, get some up, and then just went around the cogs. And it's just to make them like rusty looking. Oh yeah, that's all I needed that for. And I should use some of that around the edge of the card once I've stamped it. Wet wipes nearly finished. off my fingers right put that to one side and we'll bring in our big background stamp and our crumb cake ink and ink it up Piece of white cardstock, and we'll just place that on. Put the scrap on top, hold it, and rub it down. When I made the first card, I didn't use the um, pad here, stamping up pad, and I've got a glass mat underneath. And I just stick this stamp, background stamp, to the glass mat. 
Anyhow, that's come out quite nice. So, clean this. Put it to one side. Then, with our oil slick stamp, we just went over it any way we want, turn it round, oh you can't see that, I didn't think you'd be able to see it, and then we bring this back, with our gilding wax all I did was right round the edge with it tea on the table and it's getting ready to spill over. Right, and that's how I made the background. A big blob of gilding let's then rub it in. Right, get off a finger. And that is how I did the background. Right, let's do some, uh, and that will sit on there like that. I think it goes quite well. Right, and do some stamping. We want, oh, and I've got them out. The oil can and sentiment so, with some black ink dump the oil can Now, with my marker pens, I've got blueberry bushel and real red. I just colour in the Two bits I missed. <laughs> and have we got the other colours out that I used? Not very well prepared, am I? I 
Okay, now put her on the table. This crush curry just for this lock. Smoky state for the bar across. No, not smoky state. Um, soft suede. And it's smoky slate, is it a smoky slate? Yep. For the tools. With the blueberry bushel, all I did was fill in the inside of the. Oh, I'm going to call it a badge. Concentrating. No, I don't know if I like this. No, I think the blueberry bush is too dark, so I'll keep that and keep the can and. I'll stamp that again. But use a lighter colour to colour it in. I'll use Party. No, what's this colour? This is Costa Cabana. Let's use this. That's better. It'll look all right. That's what I get for changing the colour of the card. This bit's boring for you lot. Sorry.
so yeah I like that colour better and the blue is just too dark blueberry bushel right just need to bring up the big shot to cut these out both out together. Right, place that on. And this one says it's Oh, didn't want to do that. Not having much luck with these dies today. Should really get my magnet base out. One little toolbox. In the bin. And the badge. Keep the washer tape for the next time I need it. I can go in the bin as well. Right. Now we can put this. Let's put these away. Don't lose them then. decided to use blueberry bushel. I don't think I've ever used it on camera before. Right now the cogs we just stick them down. Just stick them at an angle in the middle. And these we put on dimensionals. Put three on the toolbox. And three on the Um, badge and we just stick them on like that so put two box on first and then And 
the inside all we did was stamped all geared up to celebrate and stamp that in the middle not very straight do it again That's better. And then glue this. Right, that's us finished that one. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and press the not bell notification and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, on Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.